To the victims of Jamil Bradley, my name is Dion McNeil and I've tried to protect you and I've tried my best to get your story out there. And I gave you my word that if anyone were to ever doubt your story or try to make you out to be liars or anybody who was a victim, thanks to the Richland County Sheriff's Department in South Carolina, that I would defend you. And this video is yet another example of me keeping my word. So let's get some straightening. He's a Rich. Sir Major Page was found guilty of one count of wire fraud and three counts of money laundering. In 2020, Page was accused of fraudulently utilizing a Black Lives Matter nonprofit organization by way of misrepresentations and by posing as a Black Lives Matter leader. Court documents say Sir Major Page will spend 42 months behind bars. According to the FBI, Page spent more than $200,000 on personal items with no identifiable purchases or expenditures for social or racial injustice. Sending the clouds. Sir Major, you're doing ultra light skinned shit right now. Ooh. You're doing Well, I am light skinned. It. Chill out with the ultra light skinned shit. Ooh. Ah, foreshadowing. This guy's name is Tyree Conyers Page, better known as Sir Major Page or just Sir Major. My name is Slicker Slicker Slim Shady. You may have seen him on Twitter spaces and other spaces on social media doing a lot of talking and boy, our hero is not doing much talking these days because our hero is in prison at the moment. I'm going to jail! That is one big pilot. And you might be wondering, how does this popular Black Lives Matter activist and this online commentator go from being on top of the world to eating prison food in federal prison? You're stealing right to jail. The infamous Sir Major Page is an activist, or at least he pretends to be an activist, who supposedly represents Black Lives Matter, or at least that's what he says, because as you're gonna notice throughout this video, oftentimes the things that he says is about as trustworthy as a fox in a chicken house. A deluded, washed up charlatan. Oh, it's true. And so basically from what I've dug up about this guy, he was an activist in the state of Georgia. He used to be in Hollywood, you know, a former actor but if you were to hear him tell it he was basically Denzel Washington you know are you familiar with the term delusions of grandeur he's uh, he's delusional what this guy doesn't realize is that the reason why he's being casted for those roles is not his acting ability because those are trash but instead the reason why he's being casted is strictly because of his appearance now, you know, one would think that he'd be aware of this since he dubbed himself the world's sexiest albino model and actor. Well, he certainly has full of himself. <laughs> You can say that again. Which means he's going out of his way to not point out his blackness, but lack thereof. It's ironic. When his Hollywood career wasn't going so hot, he became like Kevin Sorbo from Hercules, or Jesse Ventura, who used to be a wrestler, or many people who have outlived their spotlight with their 15 seconds of fame, and he went into either social activism or politics. But in his case, he did both. That will be most unwise and costly. But before we discuss his political career, let's discuss his career as a law enforcement officer. And now you might be thinking, wait a minute, Sir Major is not a law enforcement officer and you would be correct but don't tell that to sir major because this guy was busted several times for pretending to be a law enforcement officer specifically with the atlanta police department in georgia then that's very illegal stop it don't be suspicious don't be suspicious man i found out to my knees when the law came and on top of that, in 2016, according to court documents, this guy went into a government building while claiming that he was an FBI agent, except he wasn't an FBI agent and he had a gun on him. Authorities would arrest Page multiple times for impersonating a police officer. One of those came while Page took it upon himself to direct bus traffic at a downtown Marta stop, then demanding to know who was in this car. He found out who he was. The man was an Atlanta cop. That would become the third time Page would be arrested for impersonating a police officer before he walked into the Sloppy Floyd building with a gun. Why? 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 Stop it. You're doing ultra light skin shit. 
And not only did this guy have guns on him, he had enough guns for a witness to say that that was the most guns they ever saw on a supposed law enforcement officer they had ever seen in their life. That would be unwise. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. So I guess that settles the debate on whether or not he made the Hollywood based on his acting skills because he couldn't fool anyone. But then again, he kind of made it easy to discover him and figure him out. Do you remember how I mentioned that he faked being a police officer? Well, let me give you a little bit more backstory to that because that is amazing. Because back in December of 2014, Sir Major was spotted at a Shell gas station in Atlanta, Georgia. And he claimed to be working security there, which is perfectly fine. But the only issue is that when you work security, you don't get to wear a fake Atlanta Police Department uniform while carrying a firearm and other equipment. Why? 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 because we would usually call that impersonating a police officer and that is not legal. And what makes it even more unusual is that he could have just been working regular security and been just fine. But for some reason, this guy likes to engage in what we call live action role playing or LARPing. It's when you act out certain things. You know, as you look at this video right here, you can see him wearing this military pants and also wearing all the body armor and also carrying all the weapons. And that's that's why when he ran into me, who was a multiple time combat veteran, you know, someone who actually did it, we instantly butted heads because real recognizes real. And now you would think that him being handcuffed and charged would have made him chill out. But no, in October of 2015, our hero was spotted yet again while wearing all the LARPy military gear. And the reason why he was found out this time is because he tried to ID a person who turned out to be an Atlanta police sergeant now i'm no genius i'm no mathematician i'm not a lawyer i'm not a judge i'm not a cop i am a mere black man in the wilderness however i don't think i gotta be a high iq big brain person like your boy sir major here to figure out that this guy really really wants to be something that he's not and that maybe his acting was a way of him escaping who he actually is because he can't help but be something that he's not and so when he ran into actual military people like myself or he ran into other activists what you would find is that he would typically try to discredit them or in some cases flat out threaten them Another thing that I found really interesting about Sir Major is that his politics started out very, very left and then he shifted towards the right because as many of you may or may not have noticed, there's no money on the left. When you want to make money in politics and also social causes, you shift to the right. And so you'll notice this trend over time with Sir Major. He first starts off as a pan-Africanist, but then he gradually shifts away from that when he goes towards the foundational black American movement, who isn't inherently against all people who are pan-Africanists, but it's like he just managed to grift his way over. Just like he tried to run for politics in Atlanta and that did not go very, very well because as you might imagine, there was something about this guy that just didn't seem that trustworthy to people or to voters. So why would I suspect a former Black Lives Matter leader to be an informant? Well, let's go through some facts and evidence. One, we are dealing with a person who used to be in Hollywood, which means they were an actor and actors are very known to be able to pretend to be someone else because that is the very nature of actors. And then you look at someone who is facing federal charges or heavy criminal charges that are heavy enough for them to be put away for a while. But at the same time, those charges have to be linked to something dealing with social justice, AKA what happened to the Black Panther Party when you had people who were facing criminal charges. And so they were approached behind the scenes and offered lower criminal sentencing in exchange for being informants. And now, yes, Sir Major did get three years and some change in federal prison. However, he was originally facing seven years behind bars. And throughout his trial, he didn't show much remorse and he kept defending himself and kept claiming that the money was being used for legitimate purposes, even though he was spending all this money that was being donated to the Black Lives Matter Foundation of Greater Atlanta. And this man only got three years and some change behind bars. Now, I, as a black man, I know that the criminal justice system is not fair to black men and especially someone like Sir Major. So I have to wonder if this man only got three years and some change, which is roughly half of seven years, then what did you do to get such a 
your low sentence, given how he behaved during the trial. And then you have someone who is a controversial loudmouth figure who is known to be toxic to movements. And this same person not only didn't help social justice movements, in fact, they stole hundreds of thousands of dollars from a Black Lives Matter organization during the height of racial justice protests in 2020, which means this person diverted donations towards themselves and those donations could have been used to fund activism or used to help black people. But if you are an informant, well, you can be instructed to disrupt the daily activities and also the goals of whatever organization you are ordered to infiltrate. And if this person was diverting hundreds of thousands of dollars from a Black Lives Matter organization during the height of racial justice protests in 2020, well then this person might have effectively caused major harm to the goals and the aims of that entire movement, which means they might have been doing the bidding of intelligence agencies. You gotta admit, it does look a tad bit suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Washed up charlatan. Ultra light skin shit. You're stealing right to jail. A C A B. Don't you step to M E. I run to your sundown towns and turn them upside down. But some of y'all monsters like Stranger Things in the upside down. No surrender, no retreat. Certified soldier, got receipts. You can't walk with my feet. I pack nothing but steel for the heat. I'm not soft, I'm elite. Play my anthem on repeat. Now sing it with me. A C A B. Hating is just weak. Get off my meat. Go take the seat. Came from nothing. Now I'm something. Descending of slaves. Enemy slave. It's just how I was raised. Black power temperature raised. Beautiful yet bloody days. That's why I can't be tame. None of it was ever a game. A C A B. Don't step to me. Ancestral power through me. Big dog, big man, big money. Now feel the teeth. 